All right. Uh, okay, so um, uh, take two with this video. Rigel just came in for take one. That's okay. Uh, so the first question for question six, the committee of five is to be selected from eight engineers, seven scientists, six mathematicians. So there's 21 people here between these three. I select five. So that's 21. Choose five of them. Doesn't matter um, about any specific requests. Okay, so now we're gonna look for a specific request. How many committees can be selected from all, just all the engineers? Or sorry, how many committees of just all engineers? That means there's eight engineers. I'm gonna choose five of them. Not sure which five, so that's why I'm gonna do eight, choose five. They can be arranged in 56 ways from calculator. Uh, I have also multiplied by, well, you don't necessarily have to do this because it's, it's um, pretty obvious that you can deduce that there's going to be no scientists and no mathematicians selected, but I'm doing this just kind of set up for the next one. Uh, so seven times choose zero, you can only do that in one way, and six choose zero, you can only do that in one way, so you just multiply it by one. Okay, so that's all engineers. Now for at least one profession, um, I've started it here. So this is, I need to go through a number of different combinations of this committee to be selected. Um, uh, the first combination I picked was one engineer, one scientist, and three mathematicians. The second one I've looked at is one uh, engineer, two uh, scientists, and two mathematicians. And I'm going to keep doing this until I get all the combinations uh, of uh, making sure at least one from each. So the next one let's do, I'm going to add to that, eight choose uh, two engineers, uh, one uh, scientist and two mathematicians and so on. You're just going to make sure that each one has, uh, so you're looking at one, one, three and one, three, one and three, one, one and one, two, two and two, one, two and so on. Uh, you're trying to get all those combinations. Um, I think uh, I probably should have done this in a better order. Uh, choose two, seven and two, six and one I haven't done and I'm going to do um, uh, another three, I suppose. Yes, uh, eight, one, seven, three, six, one. And then I'm gonna do, um, do, do, do. So there should be six. I'm thinking six, three times two times one. Uh, so there's three options, then two, and then one for the final one. So one, two, three. Uh, I'm missing one, so I have two, two, one, I have one, two, two. Oh, I need another one with threes in it. So uh, eight choose three, seven choose one, and six choose one. Okay, so it's no more uh, uh, complicated than that. We just have to go through each one of the um, options, and then, then it's calculator, so NCR, choose all these, and, then, and you get 14,140 different committees. Okay, and that's question six. Question um, eight. Eight people enter a room and sit in a row on these eight chairs. How many ways can the sisters, the three sisters, sit together? So they must sit together. So uh, just the three of them sitting together in many different ways. Well, similar to the, we got six up here in this previous example, trying to arrange those in uh, three different ways. So it's three factorial, so we can go Kathy, Rob, and Jane, Rob, and Jane, Kathy, etc. It's going to be three factorial. So three for the, if you're thinking of those three seats, there's three options for the first one and then with only two left and then one. So that's three factorial for just these three arranged and three factorial means there's six arrangements of these three people. Okay, but they must stick together. So they're like a one, uh, one person. So how many people then, how many seats are left? Well, normally there's eight, but I'm gonna say there's six seats now because this uh, trio is a group of one and they must almost sit in one position. So now um, the same thing occurs as uh, if we're just dealing with three people, there's now six people. So six uh, ways of choosing the first five, four, three, two, one. So that's six factorial, which is 720, okay? But of course, in each time we've picked these three people, they can be arranged in six different ways. So we can need to multiply that answer by six and we get uh, 4,320 different ways. Okay. 
Uh, now dealing with the hand of cards. Uh, question 12 from um, Dustin's questions. So there's a hand of eight cards dealt from 52. Find the total number of possible hands. So there's no restrictions here. So we're just, we have 52 to choose from. We're going to choose eight of them. And that gives a huge number from the calculator. 52 uh, six loads. Uh, so there's that many possible hands. So um, nearly a billion. Okay, find a number of hands which contain two of each of the four suits. So this is a lot of restrictions. So um, let's say there's two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, two spades. So it doesn't matter which two. So let's just do hearts. 13, choose two of them. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll be hearts. And that's the same for each of the uh, other ones. So um, 13 choose two for hearts times, and then we need two from clubs, and then we need two from spades, and we need two from diamonds. And you, well, you could write that to the power of four, so you're choosing two from each, and that's uh, there, yeah. So uh, that would give 37 million, uh, one, five, zero, five, six, I think that's the answer. Okay, so that's how we get that answer. All right, and the last one is uh, for part C is a conditional probability question. Um, we are not going to um, have that in our, this unit. So I will uh, not confuse you by going through that. Uh, the, the general answer is this divided by uh, 52 choose eight. It's one answer divided by the other. Um, as, uh, well, yeah, I suppose you you probably would be able to do that. So this many options divided by the total number of options would give the probability. And I think you get that divided by that and you get 0 0.0492. And that's for the uh, probability in part C. So the hand containing two of each suit would be dealt. But we'd be dealing with that more uh, later on in the year when we're dealing with probability. Um, okay.